my favorite kind of segments. We're back with contributing editor for Popular Science magazine, Suzanne Cantra, who's here to teach us how to electronically organize our lives. Uh, Suzanne, in the last week, we have uh, uh, gotten a lot of emails from our viewers uh, who are really frantic to organize. They don't know how to file their stuff. They don't want. They want the paperless home, but they don't know how to get there. And they might not trust it. Oh, yeah. You know? right, they right. want to be able to find their documents, not sure where they are they right. are in their computer. And so what I brought here today is called Neat Receipts. And it's in essence a portable scanner. You can put any piece of paper in there up to eight and a half by eleven. And it can do everything from your tax receipts to your recipes to your tax documents. Right. So here's here is um, a receipt that I, I, I want to file all my receipts because I want to give them, you know, I have to put them in for um, expense reimbursement. Exactly. Uh, some have to go to my bookkeeper for direct payment. Mm -hmm. So here's a receipt from a uh, Balthazar restaurant. Yes. And what do we do? Do we just so, put it in face down? We can put it in face down. So what we set up here this is... so small and nice. I, my scanner <laughs> at home is this big. Well, the idea is that you could put it into your briefcase and at the end of the day on a business trip, you can scan in all of your receipts. Excellent. And so so you don't have to take them with you. Actually, the IRS is going to enable you to file with digital receipts as opposed to paper good. ones. So oh, good. just throw it away. So you would put the receipt into the scanner and hit scan. And we're going to put this into bills and receipts. And we've already scanned it wow. actually. But let's, let's uh, just show them how that actually comes through. You're going to then categorize it. You can say whether it's a business deduction. You can say how much it costs. It will actually pick up whether that was a cash receipt, a credit card, right. how much it was. Huh. And so it comes up very quickly and easily. And when you're finished doing all of your receipts, then you can just save it into a folder based on whatever trip and so you've where, taken. Where do you, um, where do you see that it, um, you put it into the okay. right place? So it's here. It's called. It, you can see that it picked up the name Balthazar. Mm -hmm. It's meal, meals and rest and restaurants. You can then categorize it as a home business uh, receipt. Okay. And uh, then how much it was, what the taxes were, it's all the there. date, Fantastic. everything. And then whether it's a de business deduction. Then does it alphabetize it or put it in chronologically? You can do anything you want. You can yeah. sort it by date, you can sort wow. it by, by title. Fantastic. What about recipes? And then with recipes, we've also set up a database. And we're going to look here at main courses. Uh, we've scanned in some items from the website, but we can also do yeah, here's a, a little, recipe card. Right, there's a little recipe card from our magazine. So as you notice, the text is on the bottom, so we're going to place this facing down and hit the scan button again. And we've sort of customized this by not changing the overall field names because we want to use it for business purposes no. as well. So we've gotten a little creative. So under the folder type, we say it's recipes. Under the folder label, it's main courses. And then when we take a look at the vendor name, which would have been Balthazar right. in the past, we're actually going to use that as the name of the recipe. So we're going to just type in here a grilled steak. Oh, so you can you can do that right in the list. You can put it exactly. You can put Fantastic. that information in here and then categorize it as meat and whether it's a quick recipe or When I go like on a that. business trip, I have so many cards from uh, people I meet. Uh, and so you can also scan in the cards. So that you don't have to keep these; they're all into into your own database. And uh, exactly. will it? So you'll have the phone number. You'll have everything. You can just say Las Vegas, and then everybody you've met and every restaurant you visited in Las Vegas will be in your Las Vegas folder. It will. And then the nice part is it does do it automatically, so you don't have to sit in keying it in. It will keep right. a visual copy of the business card itself, but then it also lets you put in your own information. For instance, with the. Uh, the uh, Seno Baking Company, you might want to add somebody's phone number and sure. name if it wasn't actually on that business card. So you can also save it. So does this work on a PC and an, uh, and a... Um... It does not. Uh -oh. it, it just works on PC. So okay. the Mac users out there, you're going to have to Mac wait. Mac user. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I do have a PC also because I know that these machines are not, uh, they're not yet, um, you know, workable both sometimes, so I, I have my I have my beautiful uh, VIO. And then when you're ready to um, bring them down onto your own personal organizer, it will sync with Outlook, so you can Fantastic. then bring it down onto your palm. Okay. So let's just take one quick look at the tax organizer because this is the new uh, feature for this product this year is the fact, as I had mentioned, the IRS is enabling you to file with uh, digital receipts uh -huh. and you can print out all of your business expenses and it will come Fantastic. up there for you. Well, this is a great tool and uh, to order neat receipts, you can go to our website, MarthaStewart.com, and you will receive a special Martha discount. And guess what, audience? Your lucky day. You're all going to get one of these. <laughs> Thanks, Suzanne, for being here and for helping us.
get organized. <laughs>